Hey friends, it's Laura. Welcome back. So today, it's the camera just a little bit. Today we're going to, is going to be day three of um, my coloring book collection. So we're going to start with Johanna Basford. I'm going to start with World of Flowers. I've done a few in here. This is my current whip. We're zoomed in a little too much, aren't we? Um, it is almost done. It needs some metallic watercolor. The page, this page is falling out, hence the washi tape on both sides. I'm just trying to hold it in. Um, this washi tape isn't sticking very well. Um, just doing my best. At some point I might need to disc bind this book. I don't have those materials, but that equipment, but I might need to invest in it because this book is, this is not the first page in this book that's falling out. Got this one. This one. I like this one. This one's very glittery, which means this page is also very glittery, which is a shame. I don't know, I just didn't really think about the transfer of the glitter. I should have put a sheet of something over this. So these I did as companion pages at very different times. This was done in 2021. This was done this year. But I used a very similar color palette some of the same pencils. Um, yeah. I like this one a lot too. This one is kind of a pain. Not super thrilled with it, but it turned out nice. It turned out nice. It's just, it was a pain. Is that it? Yeah, and then I started this ages ago, and I have no idea what pencils I used. And I know I used a variety of pencils, so it, I probably should just go in and finish it. So that was World of Flowers. And then don't judge me where's my other one hang on it's at the bottom of the pile Don't judge me. Don't judge me too hard. I have three copies of Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. The first one, one of these, I'm not gonna say the first one because these are not in order. This one is, I think it's my marker. Yeah, this is my marker copy. And I know he's supposed to be a magpie, but I didn't read the story before I colored it. So now he's a raven. But this is my marker copy. Um, I have not done a lot in the marker copy. This is my straight colored pencil copy. No shading. Um, It's interesting because it looks like some of these are glue bound and others of these, like this one, the signatures are sewn in. So 
so they're probably going to stay in better, but my first copy appears to be glue bound. But anyway, this is a straight coloring, no, uh, no stress copy. I do enjoy this copy. And then this is my original copy, which is, um, I spend a lot of time on. It's from 2021. <clears throat> I spend a lot of time on, I spend a lot of time shading. And it just I have to be in the mood to color in it because I spend a lot of time on it. Some gold watercolor over here and over here. I spend a lot of time on the, these two pages on the sweet peas. Spent a lot of time on these two pages. Spent a lot of time on these two pages. You can see this is glue bound right here because these are coming out. And I wish they were um, sewn in. <clears throat> so see, I've, I've taped this in already. I don't think I've done a lot past that anything. Well, I've done that one. That's it. So those are my I have been the Inky Butterfly copies. Next we've got Small Victories. Um, I've only, this is a newer book for me, I've only done um, The Spring Wreath, I think turned out really nice and this little page and then the copyright page. And then I have a collection of her planners, her weekly coloring planners. Um, 2021 two 2023s. I'm not really sure how that happened. Like, I don't know if, I don't know if, um, maybe one got lost in the mail and then showed up or if I was just really that stupid in order to, I don't know. So I have two. I don't have a 2022. That one went out of print before I could get a hold of it. So I am missing that one. I have a 2024 and I have a 2025. I have not colored in any of these. Um, I'm looking forward to coloring in some of these. I love the images. So I'm, so some of them are like, yeah, I just, I love the images. Oh, can't get this 
one to go back. Okay. Next up, we've got Magical Jungle. I only have one page colored in here. It's this one. This is back from 2019. It looks like I did it in markers and fine liners. It's a lovely book. I just, I haven't colored it in a lot. I wish she would make a book just with mandalas in it or mandala type images in it. That would be fabulous. So this is Johanna's Christmas. Um, I've done a few in here. I have a few whips too. Like this is a whip. Oh, that was a whip. I should finish this this, this Christmas. This is all the way back from 2017. This is from 2019. Seventeen again. And that's a whip. I'm gonna have to color out of this this season. And then we have Lost Ocean. Uh, I've done a few out of here. But this was a massive undertaking. I've got some uh, a few sequins, some stickles, some glitter gel pen, some metallic gel pen, um, a lot of pencil, and a little bit of watercolor, I think, in between these sections, like up here. But it turned out great. these i don't know what i was doing i don't know what i used over here i mean it's watercolor but i don't know what color i used so i'm gonna need to figure out how to match it over here um it's horribly streaky but i'm gonna need to figure it out so i can finish these, these pages I do like this book. Here's another whip that I just I just did a couple little things on. Um, I like this page and I like this page a lot. These were both done with markers and fine liners. This page also has stickles on it. These two pages, these are whips, um, were done with Crayola pencils, I believe. I should go back and grab out the Crayola pencils and try and finish them. I was trying to get as many color combinations as I could. Trying to be creative as I could. I think it turned out nice. Some of these pages I have trouble with because they're so detailed in this book. I feel like you really can only get in them with fine liners. And like, like this one, I tried to do pencils and I had so much trouble keeping the pencils sharp enough to really get in all the details. Um, it looks great. And I feel like I've, I missed, I should have finished this last section right here of grass before I put the pencils away because I have no idea what I used. Um, it's just, these are really hard to get 
in the details with the point of a pencil before it wears down too much. When you're sharpening again and you're, you're wasting more pencil trying to stay in these fine lines when it would probably be easier just to use a fine liner. Then you don't get these cool gradients. So, but I should really color in this book more. It's a beautiful book. It for Lost Ocean, and we've got Secret Garden. Um, I only think I have where is I? I only have one done in Secret Garden. Secret Garden was not my first Johanna Basford book introduction. To Johanna Basford books, um, and this is not the tenth anniversary edition. I'd like to get the tenth anniversary edition. To get the extra pages included. Um, this is from 2019. This was done with um, flare pens or Amazon Basics flare pens or something like that um, and fine liners. I think it turned out really nice. And we've got Worlds of Wonder. I did these two as companion pages in 2022. Like I said, I just I wish she had more pages like this, like mandala pages. Um, I wish she had more pages like this, like that are mandalas, and then you know designs around the edges. I think a whole book full of things like that would just be fabulous. That would make my heart so happy. <laughs> so I love her um, take on mandalas. I think they're so unique and beautiful. Uh, this is the whip. That was done with pit pens. of wonder I only have a whip in here um, this was something we started on camera and then I didn't finish because I got bored so I, I need to come back and finish this and then lastly is enchanted forest this was my first um, Johanna Basford book this is the most beat up of them all there's a whip Finish the page. Here's double page spread we started on camera. I don't like how it's turning out, so I'm I stopped recording. Um, I might go back and try and fix it. I don't know if I'm going to do it on camera or not, but I'm just, I don't like the pencils. I was using Arteza pencils and I just don't like how they're playing on this paper. So, um, yeah, I might go, I might try back, go back and try and fix it. That's a whip. This is one of my double page, first double page spreads that I ever did. Okay, 
but that is it for Johanna Bassford. And we've still got time. So we're going to go ahead and move into Kamalia Angel Koba. This is Christmas Mandalas. I don't. Done this one. This one. And this one. 50 summertime mandalas. Done this one. This one. I like this one. That's it. 50 romantic mandalas and heart designs. This one. This one. That's it. 50 springtime mandalas. Celtic inspired mandalas. this one. I like a lot of these. One hundred beautiful mandalas. Mandalas for relaxation and meditation. Flower mandalas. So what?
I haven't colored out of these books in a while. I need to get back to it. Mandalas are one of my favorite things to color. Fifty diminutive countryside scenes. I've only colored a couple out of here. One hundred and one unique mandalas. A lot of whips in this one. Fifty lotus flower mandalas. That's a whip. That's a whip. Fifty spring miniatures. I don't know if I've colored out of this one at all. I think there's a whip. Yeah, there's a whip. Fifty graceful unicorns. I don't think I've colored out of this one. And fifty autumn mandalas. I have this whip. So that is all of my Johanna Basford and Kamalia Angelkova books. Um, so that was round three of um, my coloring book collection. I will come back tomorrow with round. So until next time, everybody take care and I will see you all again soon. Bye.